Right, it's been 10 days since my partial mastectomy or lumpectomy. Wanted to uh, share some tips and tricks because um, I know I have some followers that are also breast cancer patients and maybe this is in your future. So um, here's some things that might make your life a little bit easier. My incision is here. <laughs> it is here, I can show you. It is here. This is what 10 days looks like. Um, I've gotten most of the glue off. Because it is where it is, um, if I wear like an underwire bra, it kind of sits right behind my incision and that is not comfortable. Um, thankfully, if you saw my other video, thankfully I only have one incision here for my tumor removal and then my lymph nodes. Wearing the mastectomy bra for two days was fine, but then I noticed it my armpit started to hurt because of the lymph node removal. So then I switched to a traditional sports bra and um, that was better than the mastectomy bra, um, but it was still hurting my armpit. Thus, I found my old Reebok, Reebok sports bras. And honestly, I hated them at first, but I they were $2 on clearance at Walmart for a two pack. And I was not gonna pass that up. Okay, so this is just a regular old super basic sports bra. Um, I do like that it's like the spandexy material. Um, it doesn't give me like, any support whatsoever realistically compared to like my other sports bras but the uh game changer is that it's got adjustable straps um so that is really nice because because i can adjust it and it doesn't dig into my poor armpit so uh get yourself a uh like low impact i think they're called a low impact sports bra with adjustable straps and come to think of it I have a lot of sports bras for a girl that does no activities that require sports bras. <laughs> hey, it worked out that I have, you know, this one that has um, adjustable straps. This also came in the pack. Um, tip number two, brick and panty liner. <laughs> so when I saw the surgeon for my wound check, um, he was like, yeah, you're oozing. Just keep it clean. He was like, don't wear your good bras. You don't want to stain them, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, for sure. Uh, and then he was like, just, you know, keep it covered. And um, initially, right after my lumpectomy, when I noticed that the incision had split, I tried using gauze and medical tape. And that I regret because down here, I'll insert a picture, but down there, um, it caused some skin irritation. It like tried to pull my skin off. So don't do that. Um, I figured out something better. Um, take yourself a panty liner, and this sounds really weird, but take a panty liner and you can stick it in your bra and it will cover your, figure out where your wound is, cover your wound and stick it to your bra. And then voila, you know, your wound is kept dry and clean and you're not getting it all over your bra and that way you can just change out your panty liner. And Tip number three that I just figured out this morning. Um, so because I, like I said, I have limited range of motion. I can get here before my armpit starts to hurt. Um, and so when I went in for the wound check, I was like, do not go in with hairy ass armpits. So I, I, at the time I was only able to shave this lower half because I can't lift my arm up, you know, all the way. Um, so that's what I did. And then today, I was like, man, I can't walk, walk around with these hairy armpits. Before cancer, I was an everyday shaver. So then having chemo and no body hair was like a freaking vacation. That was amazing. But now it's growing back. So some of you might remember this, the head, head shaver that I bought myself in my hubby. Um, yeah, I just used this sucker in my armpit and it worked great because I can't lift my arm all the way. I've got all this extra, you know, flabby skin in there and I didn't want to try to cut it or shave in the shower and cut it. So I just used the electric head shaver from Amazon and it worked fantastically. So yeah, there you go. I'm sure you don't have to use a head shaver, but I have it and, you know, it was nice to trim the crazy hairs I've had over this chemo journey, but um, you could use uh, like an electric 
right beard trimmer or something else if you've got one from your husband um yeah use that sucker on your armpit why not <laughs> so yeah there's three tips to try to help somebody get through this make your life a little easier um but yeah let me know if you guys have any other questions i hope you guys are all doing well okay talk to you later bye